the Joe Rogan experience. So suck my dick. I'm going to go yeah. up there and give you 150%, <laughs> but I'm going to go up there and try new shit. Last night I was talking about that. We've all as men at one time or another me too somebody. That's how you learn not to be a me too is by me too somebody one time, and then you go, that wasn't right, and then I'll never me too again. For me, That's I was- a weird fit. adjective. Oh, and I started out with it. I opened up with it to really put myself in the fucking hole of debt. I might is, as well go that, out there with a Clint Is that an Cooper. adverb? What is that? Me tooing? Is it a verb? Yeah. If you meet to somebody? That'd be an adverb, yeah. It's like a. Yeah. Uh, the only way you learn how to meet. <laughs> how, the only way you it, learn yeah. how to not be me, a me tooer is by me tooing. You shoplifted candy when you were a kid, right? Yeah. And your mother told you smack me. She goes, that's not right. Same thing with me tooing. This LA is a fucking. Me Too was invented here. They fucked Marilyn <laughs> Mar Monroe to death. They yeah. fucked her to death. Her vaginal thing looked like fucking that fucking embassy in Tehran, whatever they bombed. What was that famous Fatty Arbuckle case where there was a... They're, they're, just, they're just disgusting people out here. Yeah. This is, we're, we're, you know, we're between the Big Rom documentary, did you see that one? I didn't see that, That yeah. filthy fucking animal <laughs> getting women to suck that fucking 90 degree weather, <laughs> six yoga session dick. That's just cruelty <laughs> to animals. You could put you in jail for just sucking that dick. <laughs> you know, a Harvey, all that shit happens uh, here. But as us, as men, we've all me too somebody when you were a kid by mistake. <laughs> and for me, I was in love with this lady named Faye. She was 37, had big juicy tits. She'd wear hot pants. I was about 14. I had never even seen a vagina. No titties, nothing. And we used to play basketball and our two dogs were blind. She had French poodles, and she had flip-flops, and she'd cross the street, and she was so hot. She was 38, and she had a husband that was like 60. He would just barely be alive like that dude from Texas that was fucking Jay Howard Nicole. Marshall. <laughs> and he would watch her because he knew he was savage. So we were going to take her down. <laughs> she had two daughters, and the daughters were badass. And But one of my goombas dated one of the daughters. I never told him. I was in, Every time I played basketball, Faye would come out, and the game would just stop. And she turned for us, and the sun would shine through a halt. Remember halt the top mm -hmm. in the seventies, and she had real yummy titties with the nipples sticking up, <laughs> and it drove me crazy. I was thirteen, fourteen. I lived through that. I'd see her in the winter with pants on. She looked delicious. <laughs> and finally, summer of fucking seventy nine. I'm getting all fucked up with some friends of mine, and I'm, we're drinking fucking nips. We snorted some angel dust, and we're listening to Led Zeppelin II. If you're going to fuck anybody, Led Zeppelin II is the album to get you. It starts off with a whole lot of love. That just gets your hips moving, and then it goes into the Lemon song. And he's talking about squeeze me, baby, till the juice runs down my leg. I'm like, that's it. The juice is running down my leg tonight. <laughs> my mother was a flower chick. She had flowers everywhere. I put on like a shirt. I swear to God, it had to be about 10 because she would walk the dog at night, but the husband was How old 16, you at the time? 15. The dog would sleep. The, the husband would pass out by 8. So she would take the dogs out for the 10 o'clock. The last, she would put them down, and, you know, they were kind of blind French poodles, and she would still wear the fucking tidy whities you know, the, the Dixie, Pants. Dixie Dukes, Daisy, Daisy Dukes, Dukes. Shorts. This is in the 70s before Daisy even was invented. She already had the Daisy on with the shirt, and I remember being on that angel does hide in the weeds, like fucking, <laughs> like fucking, and with the flowers. I had flowers for her. I was going to bring her flowers. But my plan was to attack her, like just <laughs> jump her in the thing, throw it down, and get with the flowers. This is how crazy I you was. You were gonna attack her. Like I couldn't take it no more. Like I wanted to marry her. Like that's how fucked up I was. And you went on Angel Dust. And I was on Angel Dust. It was whatever. THC crystal. Call it what you want. It's animal tranquilizer. No matter <laughs> how you look at it. And I remember that I ran up on her, and she turned, and she goes, "Coco, what's going on?" I go. And I just stopped and I go, Faye, I'm in love with you. <laughs> and she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, Faye, I've been in love with you for two years. I want to run off with you. Fuck my mother. I'm like, I just, let's get a job. Let's, let's leave. Wow. And she's looking at me like, like, like I was retarded. <laughs> First of all, she's looking at me like this kid is fucking snapped. And she goes, you've been drinking. I'm like, I still love you. Take the flowers. And she goes, I'll tell you what, if I divorce my husband, I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. And I was like, okay, I can live with that. Can I give you a kiss? And I kissed her on the cheek, and I could feel the heat. 
going up my head. And finally, as I went to turn away, I looked at her legs. She had the juiciest legs in the world. I go, can I touch your thigh? And she goes, go ahead, Joe Rogan. I touched like her kneecap. And my dick just exploded with like sperm. <laughs> I ran away like Steven Seagal. You ever see Steven Seagal run? He runs like a fucking retard with that little limp. You ever see Steven Seagal run? <laughs>